hello friends <laughs> welcome or welcome back to shadow play tarot thank you so much for joining me here today friends if you're new to the channel welcome make yourselves at home there is plenty of content to catch up on and if you're returning well friends you already know i tell you all the time i just i love hanging out with you i appreciate you so much thank you for coming back and yeah i hope you have fun while you're here friends so let's get to it we are going to be looking into who's thinking of you and why. So um, you guys know what's up. If I happen to pull energy of someone that you don't want to hear anything about, friends, by all means, click off the reading. I hate it when that happens too. Um, but you know, that just means you're at a different point of the timeline than the rest of the people, the majority of the people choosing the same group as you. Um, all right, friends, you know what to do. We have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three whenever you're ready i'll meet you at your reading hello my group number ones if you pick the sticker then welcome to your reading friends today we're going to be looking into who's thinking of you and why so you guys know what's up it is a collective reading on youtube friends so please only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else let's get to it if anything makes you feel any types of funny it's okay to click off the reading friends <laughs> All right, let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. Who's thinking of my group number ones? What can you tell us? Who is this person? What can you tell us? Who is thinking of my group number ones? And what can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. How will my group number ones know that this is their group? How will they know who this person is? Who is thinking of them? And what can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones, please. Messages for my group number ones. We have the Hermit in reverse. Oh, someone wants to talk to you. Someone's nervous to talk to you. Or someone's nervous to come towards you. Um, I don't know if I don't know if Kurt Cobain means anything to anyone. Um, I just keep hearing him, but it also like doesn't help that I just randomly happen to have this little postcard right now. And he's just pulling so much of my attention. But because he is, I have to mention it because maybe that means something to someone. Maybe that's confirmation. Maybe someone's been listening to Nirvana or Pacific Northwest, Seattle, grunge, wearing plaid. If you're wearing plaid, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Messages for my group number ones. Yeah, okay, so someone's really nervous. Oh, okay. Um, this feels like for some of you, it's a friend or someone that you're going to school with. Um, could be a coworker. Um, this person could have kids. They don't have to be, or they don't have to. They don't have to, because the other thing I was going to say, maybe they're a little younger than you. Um, this is getting, this is giving friendship vibes though, but for some reason, they're nervous to come towards you. This person has memories with you. So it feels like it's someone that you already know. You guys aren't talking. So this person is nervous to reach out. Um, why are they nervous? Because they're worried that maybe you don't want to hear from them, that you don't want the same thing because it's been so long. So this is someone that you haven't, you haven't seen them long enough to where this person is, uh, they have a memory of you or they think back to the good old days or they think back to how things used to be or something that you guys did together why the page of pentacles but for some reason they might think that you don't want to hear from them yeah you're not talking to them i wonder if you're upset with them why the ace of swords in reverse oh this person feels like you guys had a misunderstanding or they're not sure what happened and why you left why you walked away this person uh, is kind of stuck. I almost said bummed out. And then I was like, oh, that explains that explains the nirvana. Um, this person's bummed out, you guys, because they're not sure what happened here. They're like, but wait, I, I, I thought we were friends or remember how it used to be. So this person's thinking of reaching out. Why the Hermit in reverse with the Page of Swords? They've been trying to like low-key maybe keep an eye on you or they've been trying to see if you guys know mutual people, if you know what they hear from you or I don't know. 
there's something here about they're trying to get like maybe information or hints as to what's going on with you without directly contacting you. Yeah, this person's afraid that you don't want to hear from them. They feel like you dropped them or they feel like you moved on and moved forward. You're nowhere to be found. Ghost town. Why the eight of wands with the moon in reverse? Um, this person is realizing basically like how shitty they feel about this. And I'm not getting, oh, I am getting it. Interesting. I was going to say, I'm not getting the nine of cups in reverse, but I'm feeling it. It's probably because I glanced at it and didn't even realize that's what it was. But yeah, for sure. This is a definitely confirmation to they're in their feels and they, this person feels like you either dropped them or, but they're, they, this person is reminiscing. This person is thinking back to you and them, whether this is a friendship or a lover, or I don't know who, but someone here, some of them heard music or were listening to music that made them think of you, but they don't have the courage or I don't know. This person really wants to come towards you. If this is someone romantic, it's someone that really wants to come towards you, but they're nervous to do so. If this is like an old friend or I don't know, someone that you purposely stopped talking to, because it almost feels like you purposely went cold on them because they view you as they're not sure why, but you left. What else, please? Why the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Page of Pentacles? Messages from my group number ones. Who's thinking of them? Why? Yeah, you guys shared space with this person. A family, a, a job, a community, an event. They, this person, I wonder if they saw you or they, oh, why don't they want me to talk about that? I wonder if they saw someone that reminded them of you. Because this person is, uh, they're all nostalgic over you. They're thinking, okay, so for some of you, they're thinking of dancing with you or a, a memory where you guys were either partying or you guys were together celebrating. There could have been other people around or friends there. It doesn't have to be, but these are just kind of things. This person is thinking of when they were with you. And you guys were on much better terms or it was the good times. It was the good old times, the good old days. And now it's like tumbleweeds, not the tumbleweeds. <clears throat> Why do I feel like this person brought tumbleweeds upon their own town? <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. So for signs, I mean, I'm not getting, I, I don't have too much of a, heavy feeling as to their signs. I mean, we have some earth and we have, yeah, Virgo coming through and um, a little bit of air, but hopefully that's kind of enough for you guys to be like, okay, I would know who that is. <laughs> I never know, friends. I never know. All right. Well, let's see what's got this person feeling all kinds of, all kinds of emo, all kinds of thinking back. All right, messages for my group number ones, please. Why is this person thinking of them? What can you tell us? Why is this person thinking of my group number ones? What can we know? Messages for my group number ones. Why is this person thinking of them? What else can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Why? Why, why, why? <laughs> why is this person thinking of my group number one? Why are they thinking of them? They're sad, bitch. They are sad. They're like, no, no, I am sad. I miss group one. This person feels left out. This person is <laughs> not them being hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, friends. This person literally, if, if you're like, no, this person should know exactly what they did. Let's just say that they're being a little bit too much of a victim right now to see it. This person is in distress. Not a pimp in distress. <laughs> Perhaps. 
Um, okay, so yeah, for sure, you guys, this person is all up in their head over this. They're sad because so I and now I'm getting a stronger feeling that you guys are mad at this person or you're upset or you just got tired of their shit. You're like, I done had it here. Um because they feel like there's so I, I'm telling you I think it comes back to a miscommunication or a misunderstanding um is kind of what they're feeling because they're very confused I'm they're seriously they're razzle dazzled and they're baffled over here they feel stuck they don't know what to do this person um they feel like a deep bond with you but you guys aren't together right now or again it's like a ghost town is what I'm getting they're, they are wondering why you disengaged. They're very much, and they're, you know what's funny? <laughs> it's like uh, one of those situations where you tell someone, I know what you did, and then they start listing all these other things that they did, and you're like, what? And they're like, wait, is that the thing? Is that the thing? I wonder if that's what they're doing. Yeah, because they're going over why it didn't work out or why you disengaged or why 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 which is funny because that's what i was saying when i was pulling your this part of the spread um i will look deeper into that they're going over a whole lot of scenarios what is this pentacles they view you as possibly cutting out or um you're focused on other things and you're not giving them anything they, po they possibly view you as cutting people out or things out. Like they almost, they're like, shit, I fucked around and found out. You know, that's not for everyone, but for some of them, they, they know how you are or they, they kind of maybe know where you're at in life. And uh, this is someone that knows that they fucked up. And this is someone that, that it's almost like their own pattern led to this or I don't know, they're going through it. Why the Ten of Swords? Why are they thinking of my group number one? The silence is killing them. Being ignored is killing this person. <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. But they're they're big stressed. They are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is like, I don't know what to do. Group number ones. But I, you know, I, I don't feel your energy anymore. Or you don't, I don't see you anymore. You don't engage. They see you as someone who, like, only certain people have access to you or you're just you completely like, oh, shit. And we almost knocked over our lighting because you completely knocked over whatever in their life when you took the, your energy away from them. It's almost like they didn't think you would. Why the Seven of Cups? Why are they so baffled? Because they want to reconcile, but they don't know how to make this work or how it would work. They miss you. Why the Nine of Pentacles? But they have, they're either not available, not free, or they're working on their money. They're maybe trying to improve their finances. Hmm. Why the guru in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse? They're conflicted over your guys' differences? Are they conflicted over what they can bring to the table or focusing on their career in this or how you guys would work out? Maybe your guys' families or maybe your guys', um, you know, I don't know, businesses perhaps, if this is not love related. Um, this person's very conflicted about love and commitment. That's what it is. They're conflicted here. And they're kind of spinning themselves out because they made their choices. And this is just kind of what comes with their, their choices. But they're also, they're very stubborn. But they're also very stressed. So if you're not talking to this person, if you are pulling your energy away just know that they are struggling and they don't like it and it is stressful we have air signs we have pisces and aries showing up more earth we have aries again four of wands at the bottom of the deck 
So there's something here about stability, wanting to come together. You guys could be part of the same community or some kind of structure that brought you together or brings you together. It's like there's similarities, but then this person's also like afraid of, I don't know, they're afraid. So this person's going to stay stressed and afraid. Interesting. All right, let's get you guys some Oracle cards. We have short messages today. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Who's thinking of them and what can we know? All right. Let's get some, uh, some initials. Oh, shit. I don't know what fell. I think it's an O. We have ghost and death. Something something from the past trying to come back around in order to lay it to rest so there's some kind of ending here maybe you were tired of the ghost coming back around of some kind of pattern so this person's in pain this person's also like i said they're in a very maybe like victim mentality over the circum their circumstances or the state of things even if they're the ones that you know put themselves there and then we have sweetness so this person has such a sweet spot for you they miss you. They, yeah, they miss you. All right, we have witch. So that's confirmation for you guys. And we also have with. I was looking for the C. We have Q, Z, N. Let's see what else. We have junior. So someone could be a junior or have a junior. Maybe they're a parent. We have G, K. DT, maybe downtown. Someone could live downtown. We have ZL, <laughs> which it makes me think of Zoolander. Someone here could be really good looking or get a lot of attention. Maybe someone's a model. We have NV, Never, Nevada, VV. Makes me think of names with like GG, you know, CC. They have two W's online, three W's. Yeah, maybe someone has an online shop or uh, it was an online connection or maybe, I don't know, that maybe they watch you. I am getting the feeling that they try to kind of keep tabs. All right, my group number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick this little vintage Coachella trading card, friends, then welcome to your reading. I just had to do a little double take. I cannot believe that this card says the year of our Lord 2002. Maybe that means something to someone besides pointing out how long I've been out there running wild, friends. <laughs> Friends, you know why you're here today. Look, I even, I was in, in so eager to jump into your reading that I just reached for the cards. You know why you're here. We're going to be looking into who is thinking of you and why. Um, you know, as always, it's a collective reading on YouTube. So please, if I happen to pick up energy of someone you don't want to know anything about, by all means, friends, I hate it when that happens too. All you have to do is click off the reading. Same Z as if the messaging is confusing or triggering. We have the hermit in reverse. So let's see if this is regarding, for some of you, it's a Virgo or someone wanting to um, come back together or get together with you. We'll see. All right. Um, let's begin, friends. Thank you for joining me. And thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number twos. My group number twos, please, Spirit. Who is thinking of my group number twos? How would my group number twos know who this is? Messages for my group number twos. Who is thinking of them? What can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Who's thinking of my group number twos? And what can we know? Messages for my group number twos, please. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Who's thinking of my group number twos? Who's thinking of them? And what can we know? Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have five of swords in reverse. We have the nine of wands. So this is almost someone that is ready to wave like a um, little white flag. Um, they feel like they, so this is someone who works very hard. Yeah, this is someone who's a hard worker. And this is someone that feels like when it comes to the situation between you or when they think of you, it's like they 
have been through so much they they are ready to like drop the conflict they're 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 done like overthinking because it's almost like they've been thinking a lot or trying to coulda woulda should have and now it's like they're ready to like put in the effort we have strong scorpio coming through i stopped for a second because i for some reason i thought i saw a flipped card all right, so there's something very unexpected that this person is um, thinking about when it comes to you. Yeah, they're viewing something differently. That's what I thought. I almost felt like a little white flag, a little surrender, like, oh, I see it now, or oh, you know, I don't need to be thinking like that anymore or worried about that. This is someone who's maybe tired of holding back their feelings or tired of fighting their feelings. Why the King of Cups, please? Who's thinking of my group number twos? Yeah, this is someone who, I'm going to go back to that, what we said at the beginning. Someone that wants to get back together with you or reunite with you. Wow. One more. Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? So this is someone that has regrets over something regarding family or something from the past or them something that they really want and maybe there was inconsistencies in the past or lack of commitment when it came to family or when it came to relationships or what makes them happy um very strong energy lots of water cancer pisces scorpio but of course especially scorpio so this is someone who um, wants to put the work and effort, but they're feeling stuck or trapped and they are feeling a little anxious. We have, hold on, for some reason I thought we had two eights on the table. No, but there's two nines, yeah. No, there is two eights. So we have two eights and two nines, and then we have two pairs. So this is big energy. This is someone that wants to bring big change in your guys' dynamic. Why the eight of pentacles? eight of cups look out sideways though they're afraid of returning yeah and then we have the four they're afraid of returning they're um, feeling stuck or trapped as to how to do this or uh, waiting for the right time i'm getting that you're heavy on this person's mind why the tower please why the tower with the king and queen They felt that you guys had an unexpected spark or something happened. You guys had a good time or you had a connection. You flirted. You, they felt something was mutual. Maybe they, they picked up what you were putting down. Um, or maybe they're thinking of asking you out or having this time with you and how it's give and take, how it feels that you feel the same. Um, I, I do want to what are they regretful about over here with the five of cups um you rejecting them or how you view them maybe you don't take them as seriously or they did something in the past or maybe they sent mixed signals or this is something that they spend a lot of time thinking about this person um, it could have wait, you could have felt like they wasted their time or they spend a lot of time wasting their time fantasizing someone here. There's concern about rejection. There's a lot of fantasy and this person's really in their head. How does my group number two feel about this person? How does my group number two feel about this person? Not be being nosy. That they weren't... Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I was going to be like that. They weren't shit. <laughs> Not me forgetting that some of you might actually like this person. Not saying I don't like them, but you guys already know how I am. You guys know I'm picky as fuck. I'm picky as to for these things for us. Okay. But anyway, bitches, I just asked how you feel. And this feels like you put down some kind of some kind of boundary or you are keeping your boundary or you're Maybe you're a little hot and cold with them or you're, I feel like you just keep your guard up. 
I feel like they're a part of your world or you've voiced what you want for commitment or what you need for stability. And you literally could have said like, you ain't shit or you weren't shit in the past. This Empress of Reverse and this Fool in Reverse. You're like, nope, you didn't give me what I needed when I needed it from you. And therefore these doors are not just going to swing open. I was going to say these doors are locked, but I know they're not. I know they're not. <laughs> we can pretend for just dra dramatics here. But um, yeah, friends, you feel Queen of Swords towards them. You could have felt like you had your chance. And this person's over here. I think it's cute when they, so Smokey is Emperor, but it's funny because, you know, it's the bear. And then the clothes are a little odd fitting and it's not necessarily the Emperor. So I wonder... So when the, the emperor comes out as smoky, I often wonder like how this person feels versus feels that they look or like the confidence level, right? Like, yes, they can handle it. But at the same time, like maybe they feign a little bit of confidence in some way. <sighs> maybe a bear is important to someone. All right. Maybe someone lives out in nature, in the mountains, or likes mountainous activities. <laughs> I don't know, like camping or something. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see why they're thinking of you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. Why is this person thinking of my group number twos? Messages for my group number twos. Why is this person thinking of my group number twos? And what can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Why is this person thinking of them? Why is this person thinking of them? And what can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Why is this person thinking of them? Oh, too many. What can you tell us? Because they want what they can't have, like essentially, because you put the, because you put the smack down, friends, because you put the boundary up and they don't have you. And um, let's see, which way do you want to go? Yeah, it feels like you either are rejecting them now or you, you stopped being passive. You could have been passive with them. They're thinking about how you're like defensive. They don't like the way that things are between you guys. They feel like you're giving them the silent treatment. They feel like you literally are very defensive, maybe against dating or just them in general. Um, they view, yeah, they're thinking of you as that queen of swords. They might even feel like you have something to say, but. They feel like you're purposely not talking to them. Why the lovers? Or that you hold a lot in. You know a lot more than what you say. They feel like you drop them like a hot potato, bitch. Why the queen of swords? <laughs> yeah, you did. But, but there's still some unfinished business. They feel like you dropped them. They feel like you brought an ending to this. Why the page of wands? They... Um, not them liking it a little tough and rough. They know what they did. They know that they either hurt you or that they didn't give you what you needed, that they left you in a position where maybe you were giving more or you just, your needs weren't being met. Um, someone could have been very closed off or um, I don't know, for some of you, it could have even affected your finances in some way. But um, they're thinking about how they've matured or how they feel about you or how they can see things from your side like they you know but at the same time it's like they want to fight for this or they want to put the effort in because they're thinking about how close they feel to you or how bonded this person feels very bonded to you or you're very important to them but they view you as right now you're you're not having it but like i said it almost feels like it's a right now thing what else can you tell us why this queen of swords 
So more Scorpio energy because of commitment or uh, maybe you don't want to commit with this person. Maybe um, it's a karmic for you or there was some kind of addiction um, during your connection or there is just something toxic here. We have strong Scorpio and Capricorn coming through. They feel like um, they're trying to figure out what to do, but they also view you as that you made a choice or you're still trying to figure out what you want. A part of them still feels like they could have a chance. Why the Seven of Swords? But they're nervous that you're not free or you're not single anymore. Or they're nervous about... Um, Something, yeah, not being available or being enough. They want a new beginning with you and they've been denying themselves or denying it for a while. It's been bugging them to say the least. Yeah, look at, they've been dreaming about it. They, they can't like get out of their head about it, but they also haven't had like the courage or just the anything to be able to do anything about it. This person is struggling. They're on the struggle bus. Not the struggle bus on the way to nowhere town. <laughs> it's what it feels like, friends. They've been on nowhere town because this is what they're stuck in. Look at the anxiety and the sleeplessness, the seven of cups with all the thinking, the fantasizing, the, um, the dreams, perhaps the scenario playing. And then this king of swords in reverse just keeps it on loop. Just keep it on loop. No, no breaking out of it, you know? Yeah, they're stuck in a rut. This person is uh, affecting their past or this person is letting their past affect their present. So this person is living in the past and they're not really like doing anything about much right now. So that's who's thinking of you and why. Jeez. I hope that made sense because <laughs> that was a roller coaster for me. Listen, Let's do some oracle cards and some initials for you guys. Before we close out your reading, we have shorties today. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. Who's thinking of them and why? What can we know? What else can we know? Thank you, Spirit, for all these messages. Rejection. You could have rejected them. They see something. They've grown. They want to grow. They're determined to do something here about it. Ghost. So there's something from the past that needs to be laid to rest. Um, something from the past keeps coming back around. So we have rejection. This could be someone from your past that you are wanting to reject. That could be your growth and having the courage and strength to um, continue to like move forward. We have determination and illumination. Things could have become clear to you. Um, you know, this could be someone that you do have feelings for, you do have history with, but maybe you've realized that um, you know, maybe, um, the changes that would need to happen, you know, maybe it's not what you want anymore. Or maybe it is. Um, it just depends on what your situation is, but it does seem like things have been coming to light. And because of that, someone's like determined to keep pushing forward. Um, so whether that be together or, you know, you keep pushing in forward in life, friends, we have a letter that fell. I can't reach it right now because it's right behind the candle, but that it was a, it's a G. We have a G. All right, we have who? Some of you could be like, who is this? All right, we have VFK. Someone could have just flown to JFK. Smell. There could be something about their smell or their smile. Look. Luke. L names. KQ, something about the radio, perhaps, DL, BFK, ZME, UULK. All right. KQ, DL. I almost felt like I was doing an eye test. <laughs> Friends, not the eye test. Listen, that's what I have for you today. My group number twos. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hello, my group number threes. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. 
you know why you're here. Today we're going to be looking into who's thinking of you and why. So friends, we are going to be opening up your reading by checking in on who this person is and how you'd know them. And then we're going to be looking into why are they thinking of you? Um, please remember it's a collective reading on YouTube. If you know, I happen to pick up energy that's triggering or confusing for you, that's just a sign that it's not your story, friends. You just might be at a different point of the timeline than most of the other people that clicked on the same group as you. All right, let's begin. My group number three is let's see who is going to be this person that's going to come through for you today. Who's thinking of you? All right. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number threes. My group number threes, please, Spirit, who is thinking of them? Who is this person? How will my group number threes know who this person is? How will they know that this is their group? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Who is thinking of them? Who is this person that's thinking of them and what can you tell us? Messages for my group number threes, please. Who's thinking of my group number threes? Who's thinking of my group number threes? We have a queen of pentacles showing up. Ace of wands in reverse. Who is this? Who's thinking of them? Oh. I mean, for some of you, I, this could be very direct and it could be a mother. Um, yeah, maybe your mom or someone that um, has a lot of love for you. Um, that's not for everyone, but that's just kind of a side note. For others of you with that two of cups, by the way, if it is a mother, it almost feels like it's been hard to get a hold of you or meet up with you or I don't know. Maybe you're always on the go. Who's thinking of my group number threes? So for others of you, this is someone that views you as moving on or moving forward. And that Ten of Swords tells me that um, there was some kind of tough ending or they're stressed over something. Why the Ace of Wands in reverse? Who's thinking of them? Why the Two of Cups? Yeah, this is someone who feels uh, deeply connected to you, but they just feel like you guys just either can't get on the same page or things between you just can't be successful. Um, this could also be someone that feels like you don't see them or you don't recognize them because you kind of have all these things going on. You have like your business or your home or your, um, your money, your, you, you know, your career or whatever, you know, all these things. Um, so I can't tell if they're the empress or if they're viewing you as the empress, but look how it's interesting how all of the solid energy, all of this bond, all of this like beautiful, strong is above. And then what's below is there's no foundation with you guys. There's no getting together. There's no seeing you. There's you moving on or moving forward. Maybe some of you guys have moved um, like physically moved and uprooted because it feels like there's been some kind of hard transition here or some kind of ending that happened between you and this person. And they still hold all this emotion for you, but they view you as like, you're, you're, you're way better off or you're good without them is what it feels like. Why the 10 of swords, please. Who's thinking of my group number threes? Who's thinking of my group number threes? This person realized something or through an ending, they've realized something or maybe you learned something and that's why there was an ending. Not the 11 of swords. Why the 11 of swords spirit? <laughs> why the ace and the 10? They realized. This person uh, got some kind of news or saw something or realized, changed their mind about taking a leap of faith or someone having a new beginning and now there's distance between you what else yeah this person's like happy for you but they're also sad now the other thing that makes this person sad a different message but relating to that is that they only get to see you at a distance and you've emotionally either disconnected from them, but you look happy. It's almost like you're happy without them. And it's, for some it's bittersweet. 
but for others, it's just straight up a three of swords. Yeah, this person's heartbroken. They're disappointed. What else, please? Why the two of cups with the ace of cups in reverse? Who's thinking of my group number threes? How would my group number threes know who this is? Why the two of cups with the ace of cups in reverse? So it's almost like this person, whatever this ending was, it's like now they get it. Or like now they feel. Yeah, now it's like they've realized what they, this could be someone that's realized what they lost. Because you're no longer fighting for this. And they, they, they weren't able to bring you the stability or the commitment that you needed. This is where I feel the, the group split. Because for some of you, this is like family or someone that really loves you and you recently moved. Maybe you moved jobs or something like that. There was some kind of transition. And even though, like I said, they're happy, they're sad. It's bittersweet. But for others of you, this is someone that now they get it. Now, now they see how they weren't enough or didn't give enough. That seven of swords in reverse, it's like the mask slipped. And now they realize that they didn't um, offer you stability or something stable. And you moved forward. You've moved on. What else? Who is this person, please? Who's thinking of my group number threes? Who's thinking of my group number threes? This is someone who... Things didn't just, they didn't really progress forward with or thing, they weren't really moving forward. You could have felt like they were avoidant. Like you knew that they wanted you or they were attracted to you or that they um, were passionate about the same things you were, you know, uh, you felt connected to them as well, but it just didn't go anywhere. So you just threw in the towel. And even though you still think about them or you have memories, you have to ignore them or you're trying to ignore them. So we have Aries, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, I know you're right here <laughs> coming through. We and water, Cancer, Scorpio, all signs. I think I listed all of them at this point. It's so silly when I do that. All right, friends. Well, let's see why they're thinking of you. If that sounds familiar, hang in there. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. Why is this person thinking of my group number threes? And what can you tell us? Messages for my group number threes, please. Why is this person thinking of my group number threes? And what can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Why is this person thinking of my group number threes? And what can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number three is why is this person thinking of them? What can you tell us? Why are they thinking of them? So their ultimate wish is to come in and like work something out with you and start building with you or start building some kind of foundation. But there's just silence between you guys. They're trying to feel things out. They kind of feel like you're purposely also not talking to them as well. They think about returning back or coming back towards you. They get excited when they think of the possibilities between you guys. If you guys got together, collaborated together or worked together or just got on the same page, just caught up or, you know, just had a chance to talk. They get excited about that and that's when they get inspired but they feel like you're upset with them or you just um, got frustrated with them or you're just not giving them any of your energy or attention. They have some kind of long-term strategy here that they're thinking of. They're thinking of how with time or it's like they have some kind of slow move planned or that they're thinking of, but they're just conflicted over reconciliation and they go back and forth between what it is that they want here. 
it's almost like they they want this and then they talk themselves out of it where the so let's just say this person may not know what they want this person thinks about um the drastic changes that would come if you guys talk things out or work together or started to build towards something together this could also be drastic changes to maybe people around you if you guys were to come together um what that would look like why the knight of wands why are they thinking of yeah they because they want to come back towards you and then they pull back so they that's what it is that they go back and forth on they want to come towards you and then they talk themselves out of it so it's almost like they might be self-sabotaging by you know they talk themselves out of it right when they are about to make a move because they're not sure maybe why the ace of cups in reverse why are they conflicted Um, so this person, they're almost like fighting, dropping, self-sabotaging. And this person is healing, but their ego is getting triggered. And so they kind of have, all, they're fighting themselves on it. They're fighting what they want. They're fighting their wishes. And that's why they go back and forth. So the back and forth is they want, they want to become this new version, which is someone who comes towards you and goes towards their feelings or what they want or, you know, mending things with you or collaborating with you, working with you, talking things out, whatever that is. It's like, that's the new them. The old them is probably like, fuck all that. I don't need nobody. Or like, fuck that. If they want to, they would come to me uh, or being very stubborn. It's like their ego is fighting them and keeping them as an older version of themselves, as a lower version of themselves. And that's what they're fighting right now. That's what's taking them so long. And it's like when it gets, when they frustrate themselves, that's when they go back and forth over what it is that they want here. Why the Nine of Cups with the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, this person knows it's time to bring an ending. It's like this is a bigger shift for them than just you. It's like this is them breaking out of cycles or patterns of how they normally show up. So they know that they need to make a judgment call, but they're also afraid of what that means or what that would look like. And then they go, you know, they kind of keep themselves looped. Why the three of pentacles with the um, tower, please? Why are they thinking of my group number threes? Why are they thinking of my group number threes? So they think about working on this or working together and how you guys could improve things, um, what that would look like. This could even be like um, how you guys could be a power couple together, how it would work. I mean, this person has all kinds of things, but they are very aware that it would create very drastic change. Um, maybe even for someone's job, it would be a big change. Why the Knight of Wands with the Four of Swords in reverse? This person's nervous about their position or what they have to offer or their role. Maybe they're a parent or um, work keeps coming through. Maybe they own a business or they're a boss. How would this look or what would that mean or, you know, and this person's nervous about how you'll view them or how they come off. Very interesting. Some of you guys could hear from this person uh, around Leo season, but they're going to keep, just know that if you do end up hearing from them or if they pop in, it took them a long fucking time to come up with that idea or to send the call or send the text, <laughs> make the call, whatever, right? Send the email, fucking put up the bat signal at that point, buddy. This person, <laughs> they're taking their time. All right. Let's see what the Oracle cards have to say. We have short messages today. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to do Oracle cards and initials as well. What else can we know? Who's thinking of my group number threes? What can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number three. This person could be very creative. Or you are. We have mysteries, so they keep a lot to themselves. Um, but also, it's almost like you don't see this coming. They, uh, maybe they're kind of secretive as well. We have confidence. They're trying to um, get that confidence and happiness, ideation, and surrender. So that's when this person is going to go for the things that they want is when they just surrender. Um, but it's very hard for them to break out of this ideation. Um, you know, this person, it feels like 
they're trying, their mind is trying to expand, their consciousness is trying to expand, but they're holding back to some kind of old way of being. That's okay, though. They'll, they'll catch on when they get tired of the consequences of their own inactions. All right, we have M-O, we have Molly, we have Mall, we have Moth, we have KK, so Kiki, Kim. Oh, yeah, we have KKW, not Kim Kardashian West. I know she dropped the West, but, you know, the Wyoming era will live on. We have WWW, so online, someone could um, have an online business. What's that WWE? So maybe someone could have loved like WWE when they were a kid, when it was still WWE. Maybe someone's still into WrestleMania. We have high, high C. So that is a high fructose drink here in the United States. Um, so someone could love them little drinks. This also makes me think of Hawaii. Someone could be saying high C, name with a C, Christine, CC, Crystal, Cameron. Carmen, Camila, Cristina. We got a lot of names today. We have Lou, L E W, Louis. All right, friends. That's what I have for you today, my group number threes. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.